Can you imagine your life without your mobile phone or laptop? Without opening your Instagram, Facebook, and other social media accounts? Without any online shopping, or even online food delivery apps? Without video calls or other online meetings? Without any online records in banks, institutions, and other sectors, standing in queues for hours for a simple deposit or withdrawal operations? The basic thing for all these can you imagine your life without the internet? Well, if you go into the history of the internet, the internet started in the 1960s as a way for government researchers to share information. January 1, 1983, is considered the official birthday of the internet. Prior to this, the various computer networks did not have a standard way to communicate with each other. Now internet carries many applications and services, most prominently the World Wide Web, including social media, electronic mail, mobile applications, multiplayer online games, internet telephony, file sharing, and streaming media services. But is it possible to shut down the internet worldwide? If you think no it's not, you are probably wrong. Some governments also have kill switches that can effectively turn off the internet in their country. Egypt did this during the Arab Spring Uprising in 2011 to make it more difficult for protesters to coordinate their activity. Turkey and Iran have also shut off internet connectivity during protests. China was rumored to have a kill switch of its own. And American senators have proposed creating one in the US as a means to defend the country from cyber attacks. Without the internet, your mobile phones and laptops are not as enjoyable as they could be, some might live with it but for some, it is like a body without a soul. The market of the smartphone is such a boom all, because of its connectivity, it can be used as a simple electronic device like a camera, a Walkman, a calendar a remainder, and an alarm clock. There will be no Google Maps or iMaps to help you with the location. You won't be able to call a cab from Uber. You won't be able to instantly look up railway timings if you need. Companies could build download stations for apps. People will meet physically at public places to spend their time, rather than watching web series all day long. The only source of movies would be going to nearby movie theaters. Your friends will be actually your friends, people you would see, spend time with, laugh and cry with, and most importantly have a real-life relationship with them. You would have to start remembering your friends' and family's birthdays. Perhaps the biggest of changes stemming from a life without social media. You'd probably work more and be distracted much less. During the average lifespan of 78.5 years, Americans will pay $41,591 on the internet, $36,445 on cell phone plans, and $29,030 on streaming services. On average, people spend as much as $107,066 over their lifetime staying connected with the internet, streaming, and mobile services. Coming to everyone's favorite shopping sites, Yes, you must visit shops physically. Everyone's buying to get the best deal they possibly can. Comparing prices while hunting for the best bargain just got a whole lot harder. You had best be quick on your feet because you're going to be running all over the place, sprinting from shop to shop and mall to mall, doing your best to find that elusive deal. If that wasn't hard enough, good luck turning the products inside out, searching for those goddamn, impossible to find price tags. Customers should call the restaurant to place an order. Delivery boys are hired by hotels themselves to deliver food. There will be only cash transactions everywhere. The economic impact would be disastrous. While the loss of services like electronic banking or PayPal would be annoying, the effects would extend much further. You needed to visit the branch yourself for depositing any checks, money and for withdrawals. You needed to go to the same branch of the bank. For outstation checks, it will take around one month to get the credit in your bank account. Radios, newspapers, and magazines get a huge demand as it is the only source to follow news and updates in the society. Travel probably would not be affected too much in the short term, either so long as the blackout lasted no more than a day or so. Planes can fly without the internet, and trains and buses would continue to run. Longer outages would start to have an effect on logistics, However, without the internet, it would be hard for businesses to operate. 
Well, there is an army of people who are working continuously to detect such situations and fix them, with as high as the process takes up to 16 hours. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos.